Hey, what's going on guys? First things first, thank you guys so much for showing all the love that you guys are showing on this vlog channel. Not gonna lie, I've been having a lot of fun just creating vlogs for you guys and that's really been getting me in this mood to just vlog more often. So today I have really nothing planned, it's just an ordinary day but I'm just gonna take you guys along, show you guys what I do on a typical day when I'm not like out and about traveling and doing all that crazy stuff. So we're gonna get today started. First thing you gotta do when you wake up, brush your teeth. Bust down. For those of y'all that want to get your teeth nice and white, I swear to God this stuff works. It's charcoal toothpaste that my girlfriend recommended and it's black and it's super weird, but it actually works, no lie. Bust down. Nice and fresh. Bust down. Not gonna lie, the only thing that I don't like about the toothpaste is the taste, cause I like mint. It doesn't taste like your grill outside but it is charcoal so it has that like weird charcoal taste look it actually works do that for a couple weeks teeth will be white not paid not sponsored but I will link it down below if you guys want some nice pearly whites it does leave your sink a little bit dirty you got a lot of like black spots and all that just because it is you know black toothpaste so you gotta make sure to rinse it but other than that man I feel like it works really nice what's down butters sit butters Good girl, hey. Oh, what are you? Butters, what are you doing? Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Paul? Good girl. A lot of people still ask me about my weight loss routine, what I do, how a typical day looks like. I'm just gonna get into it. We're not gonna get into the keto stuff because I'm not really on keto right now, but I'm still keeping my gym routine pretty consistent for the most part. So what I like to do is work out in the morning. It just gets the day started, it gives me ideas. Let's get ready for the gym. Whenever I go to the gym, I always make sure I wear a sweater. Now you might be asking why. I usually do cardio and I wanna sweat it out. So you gotta make yourself nice and toasty so i go ahead i have my gym sweaters in here and all you do is throw this on put that hoodie on and hit that cardio beanies are optional but they're a little too hot for me hey 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 it's gym time also very important you always need a water bottle stay Hydrated my friends and hey if you guys want me to make a water bottle like this for you guys to purchase Let me know I have the sneakerhead in the bay logo Laser engraved on here with butters at the bottom. Let me know if you guys want me to drop these I'll talk to my homies and he'll get some made and we'll be able to sell it to you guys So let me know and drop a comment down below. Let's go to the gym Yeah Blueberry burberry button Tan skin mixed race buttercup Canada weather got a bundle up I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna Whoa, too bad was you know they roll Getting high because of lows And I only hold you closer cause it's cold Feelings we never do show I give you some X and O Yeah, I had to hit the road, I had to go I'm eating pasta with the truffle 15 racks up in the duffel My dog crazy, they need muzzles My drip wavy like a puddle No, you can't get in the subtle Team on my bed like I'm Russell I ain't call you just to cuddle, baby Maybe I could fit you in my schedule Let me see, maybe on Tuesday? Girl, you know I'm good for you like vegetables Zeros keep on coming, not one decimal Money stretching, but my schedule not flexible when you lit. Girl, I need it quick Damn, I love your lips Don't say nothing, keep them zip My perspective shift All of a sudden, we would drift Cute little thing with the buttercup kiss, kiss And you kiss, saying things just to get into my head, yeah Just got back home and now it's time to have breakfast Some pics, leave my message on the radio yeah. Say you miss me, used to see me on the radio yeah. Sleeping on me, used to sleep up in my bed, yeah Blueberry, burberry, button up Tan skin, mixed race, but A few moments later Hello? What's up, buddy? Hey, I'm good. <laughs> good thing I was just changing too. Whenever I try and FaceTime Alex, he always tells me he's about to shower. Legit, like I'd be like, one toe is touching the, the shower floor. I even sent this over. This is a late, well, not really late, but it's a birthday gift. I have no idea what the hell's inside. He told me to FaceTime him, so I'm kind of scared. I don't know, bro. It's pretty long. I was trying to keep 
for the secret of us. Just like, uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know what this is. Thank Dang. you. <laughs> Not just any ordinary one, though. Oh, it's shit. Backwards. <laughs> you had it right before. It looked upside down at first. <laughs> Whoa. Bruh. You got the cat for the van, and <laughs> now you got Butters. Quick plug. Got new business cards, because your boy just got a shop. It's official now. It's official. Uh, Woo! I just got this nice new banner as well that's going to go inside shop yeah when do we get a shop tour ivan i'm just curious uh, whenever you come visit me when are you gonna bring the ls eh? stay glossy auto detailing make sure you hit him up for all your appointments all your car needs he got you guys san francisco and san jose now some of y'all have been asking what happened to the van we still have it i'll give a little bit of explanation what's going on a little bit later first thing we got to do is install our first mod on the LS430. This car right now does not have tint and it is so hot in here. Hopefully this helps. Oh yeah, that's soft. First mod for the LS430, courtesy of Ivan. I think that's what I'm gonna call this video. It's gonna trigger some people. Let me catch y'all up on everything regarding the whole car situation. You know, why about the LS430? What happened before then? And what kind of led up to this moment? Before I thought I made it more clear, but after I watched the vlogs, I did not mention anything about the situations that were going on. So I'm just gonna address it in this vlog so you guys have a little backstory about everything. So first of of all I used to have another car I would have the van and I would also have my trap vehicle this was like my everyday daily and I would just you know do my trap things in it and it was a 2006 or 2005 Toyota Prius it had 66,000 miles on it and it was very like clean it was never in an accident it was really really nice so I would use that to you know go on long trips do packages everyday commuter car you know what I'm saying it's a Prius I never really posted it just because there was no need to, but if you guys saw like Chief Finds Friday, you would always see me whip around the Prius and certain things started happening to it. So when I would go ahead and turn it on, it would never start. It would always unlock from the key, but it wouldn't even like acknowledge that I'm pressing the push to start button. And at first I thought it was a small battery. So I checked that. I replaced that about a year ago, so it was good. Check the big battery, make sure that was good. Everything was straight. So I was like, okay, there has to be something more to this situation. So I went ahead and I called up Toyota. And I had to go ahead and tow the car over to them. Keep in mind, it didn't even go into neutral like it was supposed to. So there was some weird stuff going on with that car. First, they thought it was the ECU. So they went ahead, replaced the ECU. It didn't fix the problem. After that, they thought it was something dealing with the push to start. Um, so they went ahead and changed the whole assembly and all of that that did not fix the problem They kept the car for about a whole month didn't really know what was going on And I was really confused as well and they went ahead and told me you know The only way to probably fix this problem is to replace all of the wiring harnesses in this vehicle in case there is a pinch somewhere And it's not making things link together correctly and I was like, okay How much is that gonna be you know since they have to disassemble everything and put everything back together It's going to cost about 8,500 bucks and they told me they took a thousand dollars off just because they were taking so long first things first I'm definitely not paying that second thing. I don't even know what the hell's wrong with the car third I don't know if they're trying to juke me or whatever, but I was like just give me the damn car back I'm gonna try to figure this out on my own. So it's at another shop right now They're just trying to diagnose everything and make sure that Toyota wasn't trying to finesse But in the meantime, I still wanted a daily because I don't really feel like that whole thing is gonna go through as planned I'm pretty sure the mechanic is not gonna be able to figure it out and I'm gonna end up selling it for parts which is sad right because it only has 66,000 miles that was one of the few Priuses that has that low mileage all of them have like over 200,000 miles and all of that so that's what kind of forced me to look at cars and try to figure out what I want as my new daily so that's why I was like I'm just gonna take this opportunity to get something nice upgrade from it so I went ahead saw the LS430 it's a car I've been looking for for a while just never really thought that I would need one so it was just on the back burner but when the opportunity presented itself I was like, okay, um, it might be time for this to pull through and for this to happen. So that's why I got the LS430. I still have the van. I'm going to be driving it for a little bit. I got to do some recall stuff. And then after that, honestly, I'm going to part ways with the van. I don't know when that is going to happen. It could happen within the next week, 
within the next month, within the next few months. If somebody has the money and they're interested, Bay Area, take the van off me. I, I mean, I'm just ready to move on to something else and reinvest that money onto other things that are gonna make me more money. So if y'all know somebody that's interested in the van, do what you gotta do. It's all good. There's gonna be a lot more stuff plan in the future I'm just trying to you know play chess not checkers so that's the little spiel of everything and that's why I like making these vlogs because I could actually talk to you guys and let you guys know what's going on butters is knocked out it's okay girl three hours later man I ended up making a brand new video for the main channel so I did a lot of that recording I don't know where I left off in this vlog super super tired I knocked out about 14 watch bands for the drop on Friday, so I like to get ahead of myself. Usually, people order way more than what I make, so I try to make that certain quantity, and then I'm able to produce a little bit more for the pre-orders real, real quick. I usually say one to two weeks, but I usually get it done within the next few days. So anyways, that was the grind. That's what I've been doing. Right now, I'm kind of hungry, so... I'm making the two times spicy hot chicken flavor ramen but when I used to make this a lot of people would ask me Alex how do you make this so today we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial I'm doing two eggs easily just crack the eggs in a pan with hot oil while the eggs are cooking we're gonna throw the noodles in here that's almost about boiling that's what you need the water to do just let that boil a little bit of salt a little bit of black pepper like I said Drop your noodles in there. Make sure you spread the noodles out. And we're gonna get a little strainer for this to drain the water. Isn't this great, guys? You're learning how to cook, especially if you're solo dolo, rolling by yourself. So we're gonna go over here and just pour. Y'all can cook your noodles however you like it. If you like it extra soft, cook it a little longer. If you guys don't want it as soft, don't cook it as long. Putting this in the pan that we used to cook the eggs, so it has the oil in there, so that's good. This is where all the heat comes from, right here. This freaking packet. Just make sure it's all even. We're gonna throw on this seasoning that they include, which is just like seaweed and sesame seeds, something like that, you feel me? We're starting to get there. Next up is adding the egg. We're gonna try to not break this yolk yet. And voila, you got a beautiful dish of ramen with two eggs. I think my girlfriend is making the same dish right now. She wanted to see who could make it better. So let's see what she did. It looks like she got some spam. She did the same egg thing. She put uh, green onions on hers. I put cilantro. I did something a little bit different, but whose is better guys? Do you want mine or do you want hers? Drop in the comment section down below. Y'all ain't ready. Here we go. Check it. Check it. Check it. Okay, all right. Now we're going in with the taste test. Mm-hmm. Smack. If y'all hadn't had this, have it, try it. If you don't like spicy, not for you. This is it. Mm-hmm. Shout out to everybody killing this with no water. No water gang out here. I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna kill it. It's been a super long day. I just wanna thank you guys for making it to this part. If you guys did, you guys are real ones, man. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog where you know, you're just kinda of seeing parts of my day here and there, not really necessarily the entire thing, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll start vlogging like this a little bit more often. It's just, I feel like sometimes you don't wanna see everyday shiz you want to see me when i'm going out and doing some crazy things with the homies whatever y'all could be the judge of that let me know down below i'll catch you very soon for the next video it's your boy sneakerhead in the bay i'm out peace blueberry burberry banana tan skin mixed race buttercup canada weather got a bundle up i'm trying to work she hit my phone she wanna whoa